a sneaky Linux man today, and today we've got a Galpon Minino, or Minino, or Minino, or something like that anyway, but I can't say it, obviously. Now, it's based on Debian Lenny, and it's for really, really low resources from your hardware. So a quick look around, as you see, it looks pretty basic, but it comes with quite a lot. So I've got time and date and calendar, there's my IP stuff, and there's my CPU load, and all my processes. I've got two workspaces, you can have four if you want to, switch your desktops, your keyboard layout. I got wicked, wicked for my networking. And I got terminal there. And I got rocks as well. PC man for me files. And then we go to into Spanish or is it Portuguese one or the other? But one's your web browser. Another one's turning off. One's a notepad. And one's your desktop, which it says show desktop. So that's alright. Now in the menu, it's a bit muddled up. Some things come up and some things don't. And you won't recognise a lot of these that are in here because basically most of them are basically free free. Totally free, free. So it's quite a bit in there. Internet's got Firefox, go to BMP free, and my IP, which shows you your IP address and your sub IP addresses, etc. Multimedia, you know what? I've only heard of a few of these, but apparently they all work. And that's the main thing. If they all work, you ain't too worried. You've got a network manager there, but I've already got Wicked, haven't I? So I don't need another one. You can install Office if you want to. Ink levels for your printers, places, or your usual stuff, and to mount your drives, etc. So that's alright. Oh, and in the system, you can auto log in, free FS installer. I've installed it, of course. Did this quite a text based installer, you know what I mean? So it's alright. I'll click on FS, whatever it was. And you see what I mean? It's a bit muddled and not everything works. And that don't work. So you know what? I ain't going to bother waiting for it, because I could be here a very long time if it don't work whatsoever. So I'll go back to the menu again. I've got Abbey Word, as usual, for my Abbey Wording. We'll open it up. It's reasonably fast. Remember, it's for really old stuff, this is, by the way, and I'll show you that in a bit more. It's 264, so it's not the most current one. We're on 286 or 284 at the moment. So, yeah, that's all right. You shouldn't do all your word processing. That's the main thing, which is what I like. Empty Paint's there. ATYM for your messaging. Epiphany is there also. And Minix, which is your own little web browser -y thing, and you do for the what's it. So what is Millennial? Uh, you could say, and then it goes into Spanish. You know, and um, I didn't do much Spanish or Portuguese at school, so you know, I'm not going to read too much of that. But I get the gist of it. Basically, it means it's for equipment that's really old, basically, and it should work. And you're going, well, how old's the equipment got to be before it works? Well, if you hang on a minute, I'll show you, won't I? Yes. So if we click here, what it is. You get that comes up, a bit weird, but never mind, just click again on the screen, it goes away. But as it says, based on Debian Lenny, your minimal requirements is only 64 megabit megabytes of RAM, a 1.5 gig hard drive and a 200 CPU. Pretty cool. Optimal is 128, 4 gig and 600. Now I'm sure quite a few of you have got a lot of them hanging around in your loft, in the basement, that are just doing nothing. So you could actually chuck this on it make it reasonably usable, wouldn't it, when you think about it? Especially got a bit of a old wireless card as well, maybe all right, wouldn't it? So yes, that's, that was out of the way. Utilities again, I'm going to go down to. I'm just going to scroll down, because I'm missing oh, some bits I've missed, and they're in the wrong... So I mean, it's all a bit mixed up. But some things are in some places, and some things ain't. So hardware was there as well, by the way. Control, trans control center, you get multiple screens printing. And your system, you get a bit of manager. This part is always G-parted. And Synaptic Package Manager, and your Windows wireless drivers, if you haven't got the driver for it. So that's alright. And the other applications, again, we've got some, we've got Leafpad, by the way, didn't know that was there, just found that. And we need to have games down this end. And you get quite a few, like Galaga, the circus -y one, Mahjong's there, apparently, a couple of Jigsaw ones, all there. You get all this, uh, a GIMP viewer there as well. Under internet, as I said, HYTCM for your messaging, Epiphany as a web browser. I don't think that worked very well for me personally when I tried it a bit earlier. You have the Duken Manager and Wicked Wicked for my networks. So, also players there, also Brazero for your burning. See, these weren't on the other menu, was they? See what I mean? It's a bit mixed up, side down, sort of. Office, yeah, Abbey Word we got, of course. Abbey Word's always there. And G New Merrick, by the way. Got to have them to do stuff, haven't you? End of the day, otherwise it's not worth it. Okay. Back to the menu. There's still some bits I'm missing here somewhere, and I've lost them. I don't know how I've managed to do that, but I have. So, which we'll shows some processes, I think. So, HTOP. As you can see, only 40 of mega RAM, and it's not using any of the CPU whatsoever. So, if it is an old machine, this is going to work really, really, really fine. 
I mean, it's just one, a machine for the kids to do homework on if they're all fighting over the other computer or whatever. We haven't got enough computers in the house. You can go down to your local dam or you, you swap your place and you can get an old monitor and you've got a workstation ready to rock and roll, aren't you really? Ready to rock and roll. It was a CD drive works, that is. That's the trouble the old stuff sometimes. The drives are up the wall, aren't they? So, no, you get a look and feel down there in the help section and some other stuff. GPG for your public key settings and stuff like that. Lovely. Add user, etc., etc., X of the cetera. And well, you know, it's, there's lots there, but it's all in the wrong places, if you know what I mean. But again, it's not made in England or the UK, should I say. Or Great Britain, whatever I want to say. It's made somewhere else, and obviously their way of doing things is different from mine and yours. Now I'm going to go into Synaptic, and you have to put in your root password. By the way, if you're using the live CD, the root password, or your root is Minino. If, cause it's, nobody says it anywhere. But I just made you know, I thought, I wonder if that's the one. And guess what? It was. And it works. So anyway, as we're in Synaptic, we're going to reload everything. Reload, rewind, reload, rewind. Oh yeah. Let me wait a little bit. Wait a little bit. This was a bit slow, by the way, in the Synaptic bit, but, you know. I ain't too worried about that. Now, in here, there's loads and loads of applications that you may need that ain't on the CD or the, the ISO, whichever you're using it from. So, what I'm going to do, we're going to look for something in Synaptic Package Manager. So, we're going to look for some Flash, okay? So, we click in Flash there, da, 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 and we wait, and lots of stuff comes up, but not the one I want. So, we've scrolled down a bit. Right, there's the non free ones here, look, one for the Mozilla's there, and the Adobe non-free and epiphany ones there etc etc but if we go down a bit further if we keep looking keep looking keep looking hang on where are we yeah, here we go there's ganesh now this doesn't look like the latest versions because it only plays up to version 7 of flash and we're a bit further ahead there aren't we but i'm sure you could get the newer version which should play youtube videos etc etc if you've got the graphics card that'll do by the way the graphics card's no good it ain't going to play anyway but anyway because I know this graphics card is going to use it and be okay, we're going to install that. So I'm going to click on apply. Apply again. Hang on. Oh, 10 megabytes of stuff. Blimey, that's alright. So I'll click on apply. We'll download it. As you can see, all the way along. Super. Starts installing. If you've seen Synaptic before, you know the process is hardcore. You know the score. We'll just wait for it to go along. And along. And along. And along. And along. Yeah, I got stuck there. I got stuck there. I got stuck there. And we're finished at last. My God. Okay, that's finished. It's doing its stuff. As you can see, down from the CPU was maxing out a bit there, but hey, it was doing lots of stuff, so I ain't too worried about it. So we came out of Synaptic. And you know what? We're going to open up our navigator or our browser. So we'll go straight to the home page. So I've made it the home page. It looks okay to me. Super duper. Actually, it looks quite nice considering. Should I go to this one? You can go TV highlights, I don't know. I could do, couldn't I? I could be waiting a while. Now, as you can see, look, here's a BBC player. I'm not going to actually play the program, obviously, because I'll be breaking the law. But we're going to click on it and just see if it does what it's supposed to do. And if it starts playing, I'll just close the box like I did the other day. So we're going to click to play. Hang on, should we click to play? Go on. Oh, here we go, look, it's working. Off goes the box. No worries. So that. Ganesh actually worked unless the Flash was already installed in the browser, which I don't think it was actually. It might have been, who knows. So hopefully that was the Ganesh working. Right, now we're getting near the end now. Now, at the end of the day, this is for really old machines. I mean, come on, if it can run on a 200 meg CPU and it's got all this stuff, you ain't going to knock it back, are you, when you think about it? While I'm talking, I'm just going to do my own configurator, do my sound card, etc. And you can see while I'm chatting away, you'll do this and stuff. So if you've got a really old machine, you're going back like a minimum of 10 years here for this sort of machine, you can have a really, really up-to-date machine. Really, really up-to-date. Well, not up-to-date machine, but I mean an up-to-date OS, or reasonably up-to-date that's got all modern applications that you're going to need to use. So, at the end of the day, I rather like it because it uses old stuff. So anyway, that's enough of me. I like it. Sneaky Linux going out to play. I'll see you later.